Wow, there are a lot of you. <laughs> That's a thousand subs. Oh, I, I can't emphasize enough how thankful I am. I said I hope I could get 1,000 subs by the end of the year. I didn't mean the end of the week. <laughs> I said a year. Thank you for subscribing and watching my stuff. To know that people like my stuff is so weird to me. Because they're so used to like having jokes being made of like my interests and stuff like that. To know that there's people that actually likes it, it's it's quite surreal, not gonna lie. Uh, thank you. Again, I started this channel like over four years ago and the first video in this sort of style was the Silex video, which is coming up to four years now. Um, I hate that video now. <laughs> the quality is just terrible, but that's where it all started. And I want to thank you guys just, just for watching and supporting me and being patient. Um, I don't know what else to say. Like, like that's a thousand people. That's a lot. <laughs> but as a little celebration, I guess, especially with Dread around the corner, I'm going to show off my Samus redesign, a tease of it. But if you've been following me on Twitter, um, you might have seen a couple of screenshots or um, posts regarding this. And I've had a lot of positive and weird feedback. Um, but overall, everyone is loving it. And I'm going to show it on screen now. And I absolutely love this design. It's not done yet. This is just the concept. And I've had a couple of people say um, the shoulders look a bit too sharp. That's just how the concept art is. Um, and there are a couple changes that will be done. Um, for example, the legs, they're going to be a little wider because they do look a little thin. Um, but overall, I absolutely love how Samus looks here. The short hair. It just works for Samus, it just absolutely does. I'll go into the whys um, as to why all this is happening in the main video. And there's still stuff I'm not showing intentionally, um, which is like the the best part, I think. So stay tuned and keep an eye out because I think this video will come out soon-ish. Um, it's still not all done, but I'm getting everything sorted together. So let me know what you think about this redesign. Um, follow me on Twitter if you want to see... Um, more snippets that I've posted. Um, I'm only going to tease one more thing on Twitter before the video comes out. Um, but again, I still have another thing to show, which I'm not going to until the video. Another thing, on Twitter, <laughs> I said if they revealed the Metroid Prime trilogy, I would play through Other M. Vanilla Other M, not the Maximum Edition. Later on, I changed that to say if they mention anything Metroid related at E3, I'll play Other M. Well, <laughs> they mentioned Metro Pro 4 and revealed Metro Dread. So I think I have to do an other round playthrough, a vanilla other round playthrough. Pardon the pun, I'm dreading it. <laughs> I'm not sure if you know this, but I don't like the game. That hasn't got a place in terms of how I feel about its canonicity. My feelings don't apply in that situation because that's stupid. Why I say it's not canon is just because the contradictions in the story and just it doesn't make sense if everything is taken into account. But I'm going to hate this, aren't I? <laughs> I'll be uploading this on YouTube. I would stream it, but I just don't have the internet connection for it. My internet just disconnects every two minutes. I'll be doing it in like a Let's Play style and every video I'll have something to talk about, be it Metro Dread, Other M itself, designs and stuff like that. And it's basically going to be a little Let's Play. That's something I've not done before, but I don't think I'll do it again. But I'm excited for it. I'm not going to enjoy playing through Other Realm, especially because it's the vanilla version. Maximum Edition is the only way to play it, in my opinion. I'm going to hate this, aren't I? But again, I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. There's more to come. The next video is going to be the Chozo video, especially because there's been more talk about the Chozo itself, especially with the one in Dread. I'll talk about my hopes and stuff like that in that video. So I want to thank you again. I hope people continue to watch me because I like what I do. I want to put more effort into my videos. I already do a lot, um, especially with the law videos. They're highly edited and they take so long. Um, more of that is coming as well, but obviously I want to write the, the Dread hype because I'm so excited for it. And I might make a video on my up-to-date thoughts on Dread because some things have come out and somewhat changed my feeling towards it especially the high heel thing that's an important thing but it's for the good i don't have any any 
bad things I can think of off the top of my head. But again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. It really means the world to me that people actually watch my stuff. The next video is going to be the Chozo video. And I hope you subscribe and stay tuned to watch that. Bye-bye, guys. And thank you again.